What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? My divine masculine. This is Scorpion Reds. Back at it again to let you know what type of guidance the Lord has for you for your daily bread for today, March the 11th, and tomorrow, March the 12th, which is Monday and Tuesday of this week. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all of the likes, subscribes, and the shares. If this video resonates with you, make sure that you hit that like button, okay? If you would like a personal or private reading, go ahead and click that about tab there's a hyperlink at the bottom that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again that's scorpion reds tarot at simply book me okay if this video resonates and you want to give a dollar or two a love donation you can feel free to do that the description has my paypal information okay so Thank you guys for joining me, and I hope that my fellas like the Divine Masculine Daily Bread as much as the ladies like the Daily Bread. I'm going to try to keep it going. I'm going to try to keep it going, all right? Because I know that there are a lot of men that have gone through breakups too, and they need daily guidance to help them throughout this transition of, you know, this new direction that their life is going. And... Uh, who says that men don't need navigation too, even though men don't like to use navigation systems and we be lost all on the interstate and stuff because they don't want to use a navigation system, but it's okay. We're using God navigation, okay, girl? You don't need that. We we, we got you. We got you, Father. We got you, okay? I got the men. I got the men for you, Father. I'm, 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 I'm going to bring them to you, all right? So, Father God, please give us guidance today for our divine masculine. Thank you so much for waking us up today. Day, our men feel powerful, they feel strong, they feel determined, they need their nourishment, their daily bread from you, Father God. Please come and bring us a true spirited and healing divine message, uh, divine message for our divine masculine. Please give the divine masculine guidance for today, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday, March the 11th and 12th. Thank you so much for giving us healing and wrapping our, your arms around us and providing us with protection and giving us the nutrients that we need to go day to day to day to day. Please give the divine masculine guidance and thank you again for all of the messages that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Thank you so so much father god all right so let's just start this off by seeing what the overall energy is for the divine masculine oh okay oh, oh okay we'll start it off like that then okay we will start it off like that so it looks like divine masculine is finally paying attention to adjacent possibilities okay so they have other uh avenues that are being opened up to them you know i feel like in the past that the divine masculine they drove down this road and it was a road closure and they had to take a detour and now they have got so used to taking that detour because that road has been closed for so long they just didn't even go to that road no more but for some reason they went back on this old road that they can never get across and they realized that there ain't no more construction work. If the, there's no longer in construction, I, I could drive down this road. Oh, okay. So the divine masculine ain't no longer taking no detours in life. They are recognizing that these doors that have been open the whole time, there's no more barriers and blockages there, and they can get to where they need to go a little bit more quicker than taking the detour. The, the divine feminine, mm, sorry, the divine masculine has opened up this new door all right they've been tied up for a little bit too long they have released themselves from being tied up so i want to say that the divine masculine might have recently gone through a breakup and have finally went back down that old road where there was that road closure and said hey hmm looks like that opportunity might be available for me after all all right so they've released themselves from being all tied up. They're looking at adjacent possibilities, other doors and avenues that have been opened and offered to him, offered to him because he's on his temple path. I feel like the divine masculine, he is truly being spiritually guided right now. Don't ever think that the divine masculine, because you know a lot of women they think you know men are slow, y'all stupid, y'all slow. They ain't stupid. They know what the fuck they doing. They know when they're doing right and they know what they're doing wrong. They just weren't being spiritually guided. The divine masculine is truly being spiritually guided. They feel God's warmth. 
they feel God's hands wrapping around them and taking them to the correct path. That door to adjacent person uh, possibilities, that road that was always blocked, it was blocked because the divine masculine had to mature. You have to have a certain level of maturity to go down this road. You, you can't you can't be all tied up going down this road. You get me? And because the divine masculine has done what he needed to do, and he is getting that guidance, the Lord put him on the right path to freedom, to clarity, to true happiness and abundance. Y'all better come on. Come on. Fall. Okay? So Please give me additional guidance in regards to this energy for March the 11th and 12th for the Divine Masculine. Please clarify this. Adjacent possibilities, being on that right path and releasing yourself from being all tied up. Thank you so much, Father. Please give me guidance for the Divine Masculine. Mm. The Knight of Wands. Got that passion burning up in them. And like the phoenix, they are rising. They got a whole new passion and desire burning up in them now. The eight of the eight of pentacles in reverse. They're going back to some shit in their childhood that no one ever taught them how to be a man and how to work on themselves. And I feel like they're rebuilding themselves. They didn't realize that they've been immature. That's what, that was really what was keeping them all tied up. That they weren't willing to do the work and work on themselves. Right now. It's like even though they're going through a lot of. Hmm. And <laughs> go that crab. Why? It don't matter in all of my cars. There's always a little crab somewhere. <laughs> There's always a little crap. I feel like cancers have really been wreaking havoc. Like, what y'all cancers been doing? Damn. Anyway, listen. So, listen. Divine Masculine has got that fiery energy. And I'm trying to tell you when I'm... Listen, he has got some passion and fire behind his ass. He is determined to rebuild himself. This man is reinventing himself. And he... Is driven by his passions right now and I feel like a lot of things that he used to be interested in back in the day I don't feel like that he's even entertaining it no more I feel like he's turning his back to certain things because he had he, he's driven by a whole new passion and you see that he's in a desert it ain't nothing out there but just him in the universe and his thoughts and his desires and he don't he wants it like that he don't want there to be no other distractions he just wants to talk to God he's letting the stars in the universe guide him and he's coming fast and he's coming fucking furious and he's coming very passionate because he wants change and like the phoenix so I rise he's going back to the basics starting all over as a child realizing certain fundamental things that nobody taught him as a fucking child you see this little boy see these are not real pinnacles this is a real pinnacle this is someone really working on something ain't nobody teach him nothing ain't nobody teach him how to be a man and how to work on himself and how to build himself up as a man so he's starting from the beginning and he's dealing with some hard truth and facts. It might be some shit that he don't want to hear. I can see that possibly he might be going back and he's talking to his mother or he's talking to somebody and somebody's telling him some shit that he don't necessarily want to hear. And it could be disturbing to him, but he's having to face that storm because it's the truth. It's the truth, regardless if he likes it or not. And if you're going to rush forward, if you're going to continue rushing forward, do you see what I'm saying? If you're going to rush forward, and if you're going to be a man about this business, you have to face the storm. At night, you're having to face your own desires and your own passions and trying to figure out which direction you want to go and what you truly want, and you're having to 
face some hard truths. There's a lot of knights. I have the knight of wands, the knight of swords, and I got the knight of cups right here. And they're all in reverse with their back turned. With their back turned. This is the two of wands with his back turned too. He is looking into the future. He is looking into everything that the world has to offer him. Everything. And he wants something better. And he's ready to go for it. He's ready to move. He ain't. He don't want what he's been accepting. He don't want what he's been allowing in his environment anymore. He wants illumination. He wants growth. And he's taking a second to look at what life has to offer him before he really makes that move. And he done got on his horse. All right. And he's ready to make a move. But this Knight of Cups, like I said, has to go through this work. Has to go through this work as the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. They have to figure out where their passions lie and be sure about it before they make a move. They have to face hard truths. Before they make a move. They got to get their emotions together. Before they make a move. And it all has to do with them working on their foundation. Working on their self. Working on their self. And that's basically what it is right now. That's what it is. It's that self work. And that self work has opened up adjacent possibilities to them. They're doing the work right now. They're doing the work. And that. Is where that temple door has opened up to them. It's showing them how to do the work. No one showed you before, but you can see the divine masculine is honestly looking to the moon and the stars in the sky. You see what I'm saying? They're looking for God for this growth because ain't nobody teaching before. Their back is turned to what is currently in their environment right now, and they're focused on faith. They're focused on faith and they're determined to change. But I have to look at the darkness. I have to look at where my faith lies. I have to look at the truth, regardless of how much it hurts. I have to look at it. And they're going through these three stages of growth as a man. As a man. Before... They move forward to victory. Because when I'm trying to tell you, they're going to be victorious. Oh, they're going to be victorious. Because this divine mass, they're, they're not allowing their self to lose. They're not allowing their self to lose. It's not a choice. I'm not taking no more ifs. I've done enough. I've learned enough. And it's in, and, and look. I'm not being tied up in these patterns no more. Please give the divine masculine. What is this? Teaching and learning. Yep. This was. This whole experience that they've been going through. Was a teaching and learning. Experiments from God. You went through this cycle. You went through this phase. To teach you to be a better person. To be the man nobody taught you how to be. And for a lot of these men. I don't think that they have sons. I feel like they have a lot of daughters. They have a lot of daughters. You have to go through this to teach and learn yourself so you can show your daughters what true love is and what a good man is. For you to teach your foundation. For you to learn and teach your foundation of what a true man is. Being able to say, I learned through my mistakes. That's how I can sit here and tell you proudly to hold my head high. About my growth. And I thank God for it. Y'all better come on. Keep an open mind. Learn new ideas. Then teach these to others. Come on. Alright. Let's get some clarity in that. We're going to do love. And then we about out of here. And I will go back to the one at the top. On Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Sometimes you can need more in depth. Deep. Come on now. Why are you not connecting for me? What is this? Okay. So this is what you had to learn. What 
you had to learn was, I feel like right now for the Divine Masculine, that you're waiting for new solid offers to come to you. And it's been a real delay because you, before you can move forward, before God gives you any further blessings, you have to go through these three set stages of learning. God is not going to permit the universe to give you anything to move forward until you've learned what you truly needed to learn so you can move forward to teach it to others. Because at the end of the day, you lost your family. Not only did you lose your family, but you broke your heart and you broke other people's heart too. It was three motherfuckers that were hurt. That's why there's three individual lessons that you were being taught here and there's three cards that fell out. Do you hear what I'm saying? So, nothing will come to you until you have fully completed your temple path. Those doors are already open. God is not going to let you walk through those doors until you can be able to honestly and genuinely pay it forward. Everything that God has done for you, even as hard as it was. And that's what he wants you to do to be able to explain to other people. Look, I done been through this shit. I hurt myself too. Trying to be a player. It ain't worth it. You going to lose your family. Not only you going to lose your family, but you going to block your blessings. Ain't nothing good going to come to you till you learn how to be a good man. That <laughs> is the message that God wants you to pay forward. And he ain't giving you shit else until you learn everything that he wants you to learn throughout this cycle so that you can pay it forward. Let's get the divine masculine daily bread and love and then we up out of here. This is a beautiful message but I appreciate the fact that my divine masculines, they have fought and they have finally released themselves from being all tied up from this time. Oh, very soon. Very soon, honey. New love is coming to you very soon. You gotta just decide what you want. What you want and how you going to act about it. Are you going to appreciate it? You know? And also, and another thing, um, and another thing, Divine Masculine, is saying to pay attention to the red flags. So, I want to say to y'all, please don't be attracting trash into your life. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't be attracting trash into your life, Divine Masculine. Alright? Unrequited love. Can Listen, you guys have to decide very soon. That's why they want you to learn, to heal and learn and forgive and grow. Because new love is coming to you very soon. But you have to make a very keen decision on what that love looks like to you. Okay? Because what I think is a beautiful love, someone that is kind, giving, faithful and shit, that might be boring to you. You know what I'm saying? Some people like excitement and danger. <laughs> and what you need to do is you need to pay attention to the red flags. When you're dealing with these females that are coming into your energy and your space and your place, make sure that they're a sane and a sound mind. When you see these red flags, don't ignore them just to get your dick wet. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want you to be playful. I want you to go out there and engage. And I want you to have fun to buy masculine. But at the same time, pay attention to what you attracting. Because roses really smell like boo-boo-boo. Roses really smell like... Roses smell like boo-boo. For real, it smell like shit sometimes. You understand what I'm saying? So don't be out there just sniffing the roses. And just like, oh, this one smell good. This one... Uh, listen... Listen, everything that glitters ain't gold. Pay attention to what you're attracting. Just because, you know, it smell good. True roses smell like boo-boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. True roses smell like, you know, like true love and everything. Like motherfuckers that is genuine and that are honest and true. They ain't going to be looking like no Barbie doll and all that shit like that. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys are attracted to a whole bunch of glitz and glamour and fake shit and fake shit and it look good and it smell good and it, and it might even look like it tastes good, but bitch, it, it, listen. Don't go and buy, don't, don't be attracting no, pla no plastic roses, okay? They pretty and they last longer, but 
does it really give you the health? Can you make rose water? Because I need, you know, that girl, I need me some real glowy. I need to make, can I make me some rose water spray out of that? No? I need the roses that smell like boo-boo, girl. Mm-mm. Don't give me that fake shit. Stop attracting fake shit to your life. Play and have a good time, but pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to what you're attracting. Pay attention to the fakeness. Because don't be caught in no unrequited loves just because it look good and it got a fat ass. What BBD said, that girl is poison. <gasps> poison. Uh, 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 poison. Uh, uh. Can't trust the big button to smile. That girl is poison. Ooh. Y'all better cut it out. Roses smell like boo-boo. When you go and take a smell and you be like, oh, let me see what that, let me see what that hit. No. Uh, mm, that shit smell like potpourri. It smell like, bitch, don't know goddamn God that smell like potpourri. That shit smell like manure and all that shit. No. Because it needs fertilization. You understand what I'm saying? To fertilize your yard, that shit don't smell good. But it gives you the nutrients for it to grow. What you look like going to go put a fake rose out there in a, in, in a garden full of lush, luxuriousnessnesses? It's going to be out of place. It's going to be out of place. Listen, same thing like this out of this unrequited love. You, it's going to be out of place. It's going to be out of place and all up in your face. And then when you turn around and you realize, damn, now I don't know, wipe my dick off. There ain't really no chemistry here. There ain't really no chemistry here. You, how you going to feel? Don't. You need to decide what you want very soon and pay attention. Play, but don't play too much. Don't be attracting no bullshit to your life. Don't be attracting no unrequited loves just because it feel good. It's a temporary fix. Don't do it. That's why you got to that page. I mean, that um, Knight of Wands, that Knight of Swords, and that Knight of Cups. You need to get your emotions in check. You need to be um, mentally clear about what it is you're doing before you move forward passionately because that Knight of Wands, they don't stay committed. They have a problem with committing. It's a player. It's a whore. Do you want to continue to move forward like that in life and continue to get the results that you've been getting? Do you want to work on yourself and really grow up and be the man that you need to be? Or are you going to keep playing games? Because true love is worth waiting for. And this man ain't willing to wait. They're just taking whatever it was being offered to them. And that's where you truly need to grow. That is not true love. That is not what God really wants for you. That is not God really wants for you. But you need to decide what you want for yourself. And what's best for you. Okay. So let's get a little bit in depth. In regards to love for the time masculine. And we up out of here. Okay. Okay. Alright. So. Like I said, this, this right here is what it's about. Teaching and learning. God was trying to teach you a lesson. They wanted you to learn to be a man. This is why ain't no job opportunities, no solid love opportunities. And I feel like y'all been meeting a lot of women that y'all really are not in love with. Nobody that measures up to that woman that you had, that family that you lost by your behavior, that you lost by this third party energy feeling like you want to be out there being a fucking player. Nobody measures up to this girl. Nobody. You've been attracting these unrequited loves, people that you're not really attracted to. That's what you've been attracting. That's all you've been attracting since this person left. True love is worth waiting for. It's worth you putting the work in to change yourself. It's worth it. You have adjacent possibilities. You have you have better possibilities. As long as you're willing to walk on that path that God just put you on and just work. Once you're able to get to the point where you can teach somebody else everything that you learn, two, that's when release. And truly is sin before the winter is up. God wants you to release these old 
patterns and truly is sin. And truly is sin. And stop numbing yourself with these temporary fixes. What is this saying? And deception. And what was this? Mm hmm And mirroring the behavior that you see your friends. And that's the thing. Like, I feel like, man, y'all be out here. Some of y'all men, y'all be out here trying to mirror the energy of your friends. Because they got two or three girlfriends. And they be out here with that player shit. Like, y'all were out here trying to play this game. And y'all end up fucking yourself. Because you end up losing somebody that you really love. And your friends, they out here being a player. They still got two or three. They don't love nobody that they was with. But you truly did. And you trying to follow other people mirroring their energy. <laughs> being deceptive. <laughs> you played yourself. You need to release this energy. This ain't, this ain't who you want to be no more. Release this. And truly it's sin. You are... Taking longer than you really should to ascend to this greatness. But God put you on a path and you are on the right path. You need to continue this ascension to this higher level and release that old energy. You got into the end of the winter to get this done. You hear me? You got to the end of the winter to get this done. Stop numbing yourself with temporary fixes. Stop getting your dick wet with people that you really don't love and people that you're really not attracted to. Pay attention to the signs. Not only the people that you are attracting to your life, but what you're attracting to your life. Stop numbing yourself with this shit. Stop being deceptive. Stop being deceptive. And that's still you misleading other women and making you think that you like them because you just want sex. Stop doing that because you are mirroring energy of the people around you, your dumbass friends, your dumbass uncles and them, okay? And you've been doing this for a long fucking time. It don't matter which side. It's the same shit. You see what I'm saying? You've been doing this shit for a minute. You get me? You've been doing this shit for a minute, and it's distorting how people look at you. Is this who you truly are? Is this something you're trying to be to keep up a facade? Cut it out, you guys. I need you guys to elevate and grow. I need you guys to elevate and grow. Let me get some last minutes. Last message. Last message. Last message. Nope, not this deck. This deck. Last message. Please give the Divine Masculine last messages in love. And we are up to here. And thank you guys so much. I hope y'all like this in-depth reading. Please give the Divine Masculine. I feel like other stuff flipped over. What was it? Okay, that was it. Yes. Okay. Third party, all this goddamn. Okay, listen. Right now, you guys are guarded. You guys are guarded because I don't feel like you want to hurt anyone else anymore. You're waiting for messages of new solid foundations coming in for you. I feel like you guys have been looking for a new job. I feel like you guys have been looking for a new job. And as you can see right there, God is telling you that he's delaying this because he wants you to Cause you know why? If you don't learn what you need to learn, you just gonna go into this new job being a fucking whore, and you gonna fuck up your opportunities there. Cause if there's someone walking around that's looking cute with a fat ass, you are gonna try to hypnotize and and get this person like this to get them up under your little trance. And you just no, mm mm, you are not gonna be allowed no new opportunities there are not going to be new opportunities for advancement and growth and new it, it's not you got to stop this look at him this how you want people to view you this what you be doing to women you think God's going to bless you with new opportunities to advance yourself and you still doing this come on come on you have a lot of communication coming your way. This is the Eight of Wands. You have a lot of passionate communication coming your way. All right? But at the end of the day, you need to decide if what you're doing and the people that you're going to communicate with, if it's going to lead to heartbreak and betrayal 
and deceit, lies, and envy. Are you learning? Are you learning? Stop mirroring this energy. Stop being this deceptive, backstabbing, cheating, horrid ass man. The Eight of Wands, that's fast, rapid communication. But it can be fast, rapid communication in regards to sex. And if you're breaking people's heart left and right, you're not going to do nothing but have that karma mirror it back to you. You have to change, Divine Masculine. Do you understand what I'm saying? You do have a lot of opportunities available to you, but what are you going to do with it? Learn, grow, and understand that this was a teaching lesson because I don't think you want to continue to hurt people like this anymore. And you could possibly be telling somebody, look, I'm guarded. I know I've been a little bit standoffish to you and stuff like that because I've been going through a lot. I've been trying to release a lot of energies that have not been allowing me to ascend because... It's fucking up my karma. And at the end of the day, ain't nothing been good coming into my life ever since I've been doing this. I want a good job. I want a stable foundation. You know? And I'm not going to get it by misleading women. And controlling them this way. You know? Intoxicating them with sex, lies, and deceit. There's a lot of passionate communication coming into me, but at the same time, I don't want to put nobody through this hurt that I put people through in the past. I'm finally healing from my past behavior, and I only can pray to God that the people that I've hurt in the past have healed as well, but I'm not going to hurt nobody else like this. So I'm not going to continue in this behavior. I I appreciate the fact that all of these people want to communicate with me and all of these different women want to have sex with me, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not participating in this. I'm not participating in this anymore. This is the three of wands in reverse. Okay. You realize that you broke people's heart in the past. You realize that. And he said, I'm not doing that shit no more. How many times you got caught? How many times? Was it worth it? It wasn't worth it. And that's what you learn, and that's what you want to pay forward and teach other people. And as soon as you're able to do that, God going to kick that door of adjacent opportunities. He going to push you through that door. And all of these, these three, these three, these three things that you had to conquer and you had to learn, they all going to be victorious. Mentally grounded, passionately driven, and emotionally sound to make good decisions in the future. I love you, Divine Masculine. I hope that you received this message well. If this video resonated, go ahead and click that like button. If you would like to book a personal private reading, go ahead and hit that hyperlink in the description. If you would like to give a love donation, that's in the description as well. I love you guys. Love and light. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.